Chris Bledsoe, an author of the book UFO of God and alleged survivor of a close encounter with a UFO in 2007, claims that while on a fishing trip with his son and co-workers, he privately prayed to God for help from the struggles occurring in his life. Allegedly at that moment a UFO appeared that would turn his life around. Ever since this confrontation, Chris Bledsoe has been witnessing UFOs around him. Here is some footage captured by him near his home. This is coming over real low. Look here, Teddy. Look right there. See it coming? This is uh, December 5th. I'm out here with my grandson. Standing at my front door. And it's just coming. Yeah, you see it? What do you think it is? That's my grandson, three years old. He just said, it's an angel. You see it? Look right there. Let's get around this tree here. You see this look? Here we go. Sorry for the bouncing, but I'm having to walk. I'm literally standing right at my front door with my grandson. We're walking. And no, it's turning. It's turning due south. Now it was going from my right to left. And now it's going away from me, you see? It made a turn right there. December 5th. This is our, you see, property. And there's another one. Going through the trees right there. I just saw it flash twice. If I can find this horn. Where you at, Teddy? I'm coming. I'm coming. You can see more of Chris Bledsoe on his Instagram page and read his story from his book UFO of God. Dubbed the Metapod UFO from its vague resemblance to Pokemon of the same name, it has never been debunked and is just one of many proverbial holy sightings in ufology. This was captured in Madrid, Spain on September 6, 2015. It has been stabilized and dissected throughout the community for years. The original upload to YouTube has long been removed and no one seems to have any idea who the original source was, though there have been a few Reddit posts of people claiming to be. One thing is certain from those that look at it, it is unsettling and some believe a figure is moving inside. What's interesting is the movements of the object. It goes from left to right and up and down, which rules out it being a balloon and has some level of autonomous movement. Many describe the object as a cocoon with a very organic glazed appearance, nothing like the metallic cold metal UFOs people describe witnessing. It truly has an alien feel to it that separates it from our own human style. As someone who looks at a ton of UFO videos, a vast majority are orb-shaped, and many are able to be dismissed as nothing more than the International Space Station passing by, or Starlink satellites. But in 1996, before we had either the station or Starlink over our heads, these orbs were being witnessed as far as Pretoria, South Africa. Take a look at this old footage. The large areas of Pretoria early this morning has residents puzzled. Some say it was a marketing ploy, others say it was a stray advertising balloon tossing around in strong winds. 
but no one can say for sure that the city might not have been visited by someone or something from another planet. This amateur video was taken by a policeman on duty. On close inspection, the object changes color and they are also changing lines. Technicians say this could have been caused by the camera, but the man behind the camera believes he has seen what no man has seen before. I wasn't sure what it is, but it really looked like uh, a saucer or something. It was round and there was um, one stage uh, we could see lights coming from it and everybody was following it and it's a very interesting phenomena. In a completely different part of the city over Erasmus Kloof, another eyewitness saw the object hanging in the sky. He can't believe it was a hoax. People don't have the money, neither the technology to move anything like that, that fast with that bright light. A police pilot and four passengers were sent in pursuit of the elusive UFO. They couldn't catch it and sometimes couldn't even maintain the same altitude. If it was a star, it would have disappeared as, as it became light. It simply didn't disappear. It stayed in front of us and uh, we were five people in the aircraft who all saw this, so uh, it was definitely not my imagination. But the, the strangest thing of this, of this phenomenon was the way that it flew ahead of the aircraft, the dilating movements up and down and to the left and to the right. That certainly was very strange. I've never seen anything like that before. That there was something unusual in the sky this morning seems certain. But those who know what it really was have been as silent as the noiseless bright disk that has had many casting a curious glance into space. Leonie Cock, TV News, Pretoria. Okay, it's a gorgeous sunset across Western New York. At 9.30, uh, 9.45, we stop it. Now, I'm going to get right in the way. This appears through the clouds. Watch what happens, because it moves pretty quick. I'll get out of the way. What's Comes at us and goes on? over. Oh, what do you think that was? What is it? There's another one, it looks like. Know. Well, that's a planet. Oh. <laughs> so you don't got to worry about that. That All just right. keeps going down. But the one that kind of whizzed. Yeah. I'm thinking what is it? that that one might be, a, that might be a drone. Okay. There was kiss the summer hello. It might okay. have come over, but Aliens. Andy's. I'll repost that one because I don't know what happened there. Anyway, it was a pretty cool sight to see this oh, evening. Many who have seen this video refuse to believe the object is a drone, meteor, or plane. In fact, it's so fast it covers the distance of the sky in less than three minutes by their watch. What is even more suspicious is the object the news lady dubs a planet moves quite fast as well. Here is some slowed replays of the object. Let us know what you think. Is this just time dilation or something else? Very little backstory to this next video uploaded by Cat9554 on Reddit. Allegedly, this was captured in the skies above Vancouver, British Columbia only a few days ago. Once more an orb-shaped object, like the previous segments. This seems to change colour from green at the start to blue at the end. I do hear some noise in the background that might be traffic. Doesn't sound particularly like an aircraft, but you decide. From the Instagram user UFO Slovakia, we have two videos that are quite interesting, and I can say for certain the one I've never seen anything like it, other than perhaps the rumored TR-3B, AKA the Black Triangle Black Ops Jet. Take a look for yourself. Allegedly filmed March 14th of last year over Bratislava, which is the capital of Slovakia. The Instagram user Jufa Slovakia claims that he caught this image only with his thermal imaging camera and was not visible by the naked eye. They continued to claim there was no noise emitted by the craft as well. If you recall the alleged jellyfish UFO that was trending social media a few months ago, that too was allegedly caught only by thermal imaging. Perhaps we're going about this all wrong.
In yet another video from Ufoslovakia, this too was captured above the capital city of Bratislava, but only a few days ago. Unfortunately, very little was added to the submission, but from what we can see, the sky is awfully active with objects nearly colliding with one another and formations of no more than three around the periphery of the video. The next sighting was captured while cruising along San Vicente in Los Angeles, California. The witness said they first spotted three different shaped objects in the sky moving, and one was shaped as a square, and another as a circle. By the time the individual was able to park their car and get a better capture of the spectacle, only one remained visible, which was in the shape of an S. These images come from Loveland, Colorado, where the witness stated in a manner of two minutes, an object fell from the sky creating this vertical smoke cloud. Can't say I've ever seen something like this other than perhaps a rocket, but what do you think? Thanks for staying until the end. If you have a sighting you would like us to report on, please send it to this link with any information you would like us to know. I hope you enjoyed this video and look forward to next week's. Until then, take care everyone.